spiritual aspects. You can read in a book, you need someone, a master, a real master to teach you, to hand it to you in a whole other level, or another spiritual madriga. And that was what the Mashemna was, that was what the Amiza was. And my friends, 500 years ago, gathered around in this holy grave, was the holy Amiza. We climbed the tower, told us to climb on the grave. Climb on the grave, and when you meditate, as it taught you on the Holy Spirit rules. And Rav Chaim didn't accomplish anything, so the Rizal told him to come back again the next day. And he came back. To try once more, you're just beginning, you have to go again and again. He wouldn't have been able to accomplish. And instead of the heart of Heim Vital, they had a sword of a hero, the Holy Master. Not only this, he had the soul of many, many Tadikim in the form of the pregnancy of the soul. And this has to do with the tikkun, the, the reputation the person has. When the person comes to this world, they have certain things they need to accomplish to fix their soul. And if you want to ask me what those things are, my friend, you already know. It's the things you're struggling with the most. That's usually what you have to fix. Oh. from the, 
the shop mode. From the ideal pregnancy of a higher levels. The higher souls will come and attach themselves to you. And you'll be able to do great things for Hashem. And B'nai Yisrael, the Jewish people. And so a person must understand, as we see from Chaim, here he had to fix these things. He was a great, great person, tremendous knowledge and Torah before he ever came to the Abrizal, just like the Magibos. Yet, as soon as he would start to fix himself, as soon as he would start to fix himself, he became a greater vessel. Allah Nisim Biyala Purgana Biyala 
Yeah. <laughs> 